Hi everybody, this is Nina. Um, I got a request to do a vegan meal and I happen to like um, the black beans and rice. It's sort of like, um, well this, this meal is, reminds me like of the Cuban or um, Puerto Rican type of style of um, black beans and rice. So that's what we're going to do today, okay? Now, I always buy my black beans in bulk, unless I find the cans that are on sale, and um, then I'll use those. Let me get me a bowl out of here. Got to make sure you wash your um, black beans. They might say that they're pre-washed, but I always rinse them a couple times. And the size that you want, uh, or the amount that you want of black beans are, um, you know, the smaller bags that you can buy. I'm not sure how many ounces are in those. Probably... I'm not even going to guess because I really don't know. Um, but anyway, that's about the amount that you're going to want for this dish. So we're going to wash them off. And the water should be clear, which it probably will be. They usually are with that brand, which I think I got those at Sam's Club. Yep, they're clean. Try not to get any in your sink, which I got a couple. I'll take those out be before they get down in the drain because we don't have a garbage disposal. All right. Now also, you can use a um, pressure cooker or you can use what well, we happen to have a... Um, a table top electric pressure cooker. It's like this type. So that's what I'm going to be using. It doesn't cause as much heat in the room. And then I got this filled up most of the way with water. Alright, just pour those in there. And then we are going to put, this is what is, um, you'll just have to watch all the way into the end to find out how this turns out, but it's a really neat recipe. I've got a one green pepper, a whole bulb of garlic, one white onion, and then I, I bought some of the bay leaves because I don't, I didn't have any of that. We, we don't have any of that planted either, so. So what I'm going to do with that is the whole leaf, put a couple in, throw them right in the water. And I wish there was a way, maybe I could move this over so you can at least see that I'm throwing them in, okay? And then, oh good, you can see the chopping board. I wasn't sure if you could see that or not. All right, I'm going to take this stuff over here to the chopping board. Start with the garlic. Really all that you want to do is take those outer layers off. Don't worry about, don't worry about where the root system is or anything you just want those top layers off where you start seeing each little clove okay toss that right in all right same thing with the onion we're going to cut off the ends
And then with the onion, I'm going to cut it in half. We're going to toss those in. Now I have the green pepper. Took the green pepper, cut it in half. We're going to toss those in. All right. Now I'm not going to put very much salt because we can salt it when it comes out. I'm going to use a little bit of the um, adobo seasoning. little more. That also has salt in it. That really is good stuff. Okay. Gonna put the lid on. Jeez. Okay, this has a lock and unlock, so I'm gonna lock it. The little nozzle. Why isn't this nozzle working right? I guess that's good. Okay. And then we are going to cooking status is going to be on 30 minutes. Ooh, we don't want four hours. No, don't. Just 30. Okay. And hit start. Alright. I've not used this as a pressure cooker, so I'm hoping that um, I've done all that correctly. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, I'm going to clean up what I have already cut up a little bit. And then I'll be um, back whenever this is done with the pressuring or pressure cooking. And I'll be starting the rice and stuff then. And then I've got some little tricks to show you on what to do with the vegetables that we put in there almost whole. Um, so stick around. I think you'll really like this. All right. Be right back. All right. I'm back for a little bit. I just wanted to tell you a little bit how to do the rice. Um, you rinse it off, and I'm just going to do a serving, let's see, it's for, well, it yields about three and a half cups of rice. So what I'm going to do is, I have our uh, rice cooker um, tore up, so I have one of these, it's heavy, very heavy duty, um, and it's enameled, and then it has um, a little bit of a, a kind of like rubber, and it will keep the um, rice steam inside the pot. This is perfect for making rice in. So I'll go ahead and get started on that. So you, you want about a cup and a half of water and about two tablespoons of butter. Barely see that, but you know what I'm talking. Um, you want that to be boiling. So then once it gets boiling, you're gonna put in one cup of rice and then Turn your burner down to probably low, medium, and you're going to cover it up. Like, this is really heavy. <laughs> you're going to cover it up, and um, this is going to seal in all of the steam 
for probably about 15 minutes. And um, once you, oh, there's something on the burner. Mom cooked uh, fried potatoes and stuff today, so she must have got a little bit of oil on there. But anyway, after 15 minutes, you're going to um, check it and make sure that the rice has absorbed that water and um, use a fork, kind of fluff it up a little bit. And then, now I've got two minutes on this, so um, I'll let you guys walk with me along on that so I can show you how to do that. I'm gonna try and move this down so you can actually see my pans instead of just looking at me. And I hope it doesn't fall. Okay, that's that should be good. All right, so right now I've got this one with the water and the butter. It's on a high, well, it's on nine. I'm waiting for it to start boiling. And then once it does, I'll put the rice in. I will um, lower the temperature, like I said, and then we'll cover it up and let it sit for about 15 minutes or so. When you have a rice steamer, it just, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, this pan is the pan that, um, or skillet, whatever you want to call them, that I am going to put those large veg vegetables in. Um, I'll probably put it on about five or six. And you want to use a little bit of um, olive oil. Just going to saute the vegetables that come out of the pressure cooker. And I might as well just leave the camera on, right? No sense to keep shutting it off. All right, that butter's starting to melt really well, so it won't be very long and this will be boiling. Yeah, a friend of mine um, requested that I do this vegetarian or vegan meal. Now, it's not exactly vegan because I am using butter um, and they don't, Vegans don't use any type of, um, even a milk product. So we're gonna call this vegetarian because I'm also using oil. I'm gonna turn this one down with the oil and it on low until these, got like 15 seconds to go on the pressure canner or cooker. And there is a difference. <laughs> I have a pressure canner that I do all of my um, the meat and potatoes, all that type of stuff that we can. Tomato juice and stuff like that. How's everybody's day been going today? I've been kind of busy. As I told you, my one grandson is back in school and the oldest one has not gone back yet. He won't go back until sometime near the end of the month. So, um, he is here with us a few hours every day, and he's so good by himself. He's um, going into the sixth grade, and he's, such, he's a good boy by himself. But boy, you get them two together. <laughs> you know how it is. They like to wrestle. They're, they're good. They're very good, but they like to wrestle and play. I'm afraid they're going to get hurt. All right, so it's boiling. Hope you can see that. And I turned it down to two just now. I'm gonna pour in one cup of rice. Just give it a little stir. All right, turned, it's down on, like I said, it's on two. And cover it. I think I'm gonna set the kitchen timer so that I do not forget when to take it. Off the heat and stir with a fork. Okay. Now I thought that was done, but now it's the timer thing is not moving. 
I don't ever fool with this, um, the electric pressure can or cooker. I've never used it except for on like a, um, a slow cooker basis. So I don't, I'm not exactly sure how that thing works to be totally honest. I better turn the skillet off and take it off the heat because I thought that was going to be done here in a little bit, but it's still doing its thing. All right. I'm not going to keep rambling. Um, I'll just come back when this is ready and you don't want to open this. You just want to leave it closed and that steam is going to, to work on the rice and it's going to swell up and it will be really good. And then I'm going to go down and ask my husband how this pressure cooker works because it's still stuck like on 15 now. So, all right, I'll be right back with you all. Just a moment. All right, I think that the veggies are done. The rice should be done. Oh, that's perfect. See that? Just kind of flip it up with a fork. That is perfect rice. Okay, I'm gonna keep the lid on that. And the stove is off. Now I'm not sure how to um, get everything out of here on with the electric pressure cooker. If the steam, I know when you use a regular um, stovetop one, you have to wait until the steam is all out. So I unlocked it. I don't know if you're. I don't think you all can see it, but got the lid off. I'm going to get a spoon and get out all those veggies I talked about. And go ahead and turn the stove on about five. Wish you guys could see over here. Let me see if I can move. Uh, maybe if I go like this. Okay, we're going to go like this. Now the veggies, this is part of the onion. You notice that it turned black. It's going to absorb, of course, the juice and stuff from the black beans. So what I'm going to do is, it doesn't matter if you have a few beans in there. Go ahead and take out all the large veggies. The green pepper. Not so green anymore. <laughs> the bay leaf, you can go ahead and um, toss that, if I can get it out of there. i got two of them in there, so there's the other one. I can't get the beans off that, so I'm just going to do... Okay, and the only thing left then is the... Um, garlic. I'm just going to lay that in there. Put it on the stove. Let's get this back out of the way. Okay, so this is the little trick. Let me change. I'm going to put the rice on the back burner because it doesn't need on heat. And then I will put this back over here so you guys can see better. I think that's better. Okay, this is the little trick for the garlic, okay? I'm going to use the old-fashioned potato smasher. Just kind of smash it. See all the garlic that came out of there? And that's probably a little warm. Lots of garlic came out. So, you don't want this part. We're going to toss that in the trash. We've got all the good stuff in here. And if you see any of that, the skin stuff, you can pick that out also. I think everything else pretty much came out. Yep. And then we're just going to try and smash some of the veggies up. I'm going to use 
with my fork a little bit. Some of the onions are not as, um, as mushy. What a fancy word, right? Not quite as mushy as I'd like them to be. That one might be okay. And these are really good. So we're gonna just work at some of these veggies. The green pepper, hope you guys can see. Maybe if I get out of the way of the light. Green pepper is smashing up really good. Smells really good, I wish you guys were here. And then the onion, or not the onion, but the um, garlic. Let's kind of work with that a little bit. Get that smashed up some. Okay, I am going to let that just simmer a little bit and probably put just a little bit more of the olive oil in. I'm going to put some more of the um, adobo also in it. Because like I said, it's got seasonings. It has, um, let's just go through some of them. It's for all kinds of meat too, but it's really good in the beans. It has garlic, salt, a little bit of sugar, spices, including um, turmeric and some other things, but that just reminded me, I'm supposed to put a little bit of sugar, a pinch of sugar or two in this mixture. So I'll go get the sugar. I want those onions to get a little bit more done. And the reason that we're doing this is not, on, not only does it make those flavors really get in those beans, but it also will hopefully thicken up the beans a little bit. Black beans are not like your regular, like uh, navy or pinto. They're not at all like those. They, they, it takes longer for them to get done and their texture is, is a lot different. I'll show you. You see that good? The texture is, is um, different, and like I said, they're even when you smash them, they're a little bit harder. Okay, I am going to run out into the pantry here and get some sugar. I'll just let you guys go ahead and just watch that for a second. Don't let it burn, guys. <laughs> Also let you guys know you can also buy those the black beans already done and then you could saute your vegetables do it like that I do use a lot of those canned black beans also okay that's enough probably with sugar and gonna see how well the onions are doing nicely. Now I'm going to put a little bit, probably a cup of my beans that I just made over here. And we're going to mash those too. Because remember, we're wanting the consistency of our beans to be done. A little bit more thicker than what they would be if you didn't do this. Now the reason that I do like the can better is in my opinion they they're softer. You know, you could cook black beans just just about cook them to death. And to me, they're still a little bit hard. Let me see. I've got an idea and I'm not sure 
No, that's not going to work. Probably should have put the onions in a fourth instead of a half. They would have really been well done by now. And they are. They're starting to. If you can tell, I'm going through them a lot quicker than what I did. Okay. Alright. I am going to turn that off. Put this back in. Let me move it over here so you all can see hopefully a little bit better. Okay, this is the mixture. And then I'm going to pour that back in with the beans that I made. Mix that up. Smells delicious. Okay, let me get a plate out and I will plate a little so you guys can get the idea. Now I also bought a avocado and what I'm going to do with that, I don't think you're going to see if I put it over, whoops, I dropped it didn't I, don't cut myself huh. So what I'm going to do with that is go ahead and cut it. I love avocado. I love it like at breakfast time on toast, nothing else. Not quite as done as I like them. They're, I mean, it's ripe, but I really like them. Ripe, ripe. Did you know that um, these were called alligator skin before they got the name avocado? And that kind of shows you why. See how that looks? Kind of does remind you of one, doesn't it? Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I apologize. You know, that's better. I'm just going to cut it. I, I like them when you can just spoon them out. You know, without having to cut it off of the skin. But they're good with everything. And they're so very healthy for you. You ought to um, look up avocado and see how, how good they are for you. Now, my oldest brother lives in California. I don't get to see him very much, but that's probably the place to get the avocado, right? Right near the Mexican line. Okay, let's get some of the beans out. that um, do not eat meat they, people always wonder where they get their protein from well beans for one is a very good protein and here is the meal let's taste it for you see how it turned out I'm gonna get a little bit of everything here well like I said if the avocado was just a hair more ripe Okay, that's a little bit of everything. Mmm, mmm. Those are delicious. Very good. Oh, the beans are delicious. I found a bay leaf, a little piece of one. Put it to the side. <laughs> now, like I said, I prefer... In all honesty, I prefer the, the cans of black beans. So, I think I'll go back to doing it like I do it myself. Is I would go ahead and use the veggies that we have. You know, the onion, the peppers, um, garlic. Let's see, what else was it? 
think that was it. Oh, the bay leaves, of course. But go ahead and use that stuff. Cook them in some olive oil. And if you get some of that, um, the adobo, this here. But go ahead and, and cook those in a pan with a, or a skillet. And that's what I would do. That's what I'm going to go back to. Um, because the beans are so much better. And then when you get that done, when you get it all done and the beans and the rice together, it's absolutely perfect. Now this way, it is, it's really good. The only thing is I like it better with the canned beans, only because the beans are not quite as, I wouldn't, they're not hard. What would be a good word? Tough? Not as tough? That's probably the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I think you guys will enjoy it. So, thank you for coming along with me and, and, and sharing in my vegetarian meal. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Bible um, study, remember. Mm-mm.